What's up everyone, this is Hemorrhoid aka Deep Fryer, bringing you another Super String video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. I haven't spoken with you for a little while, so we've got a few things to talk about. Uh, first, let's talk about the Super String Anniversary Event. That's right, Super String, the game is celebrating its one year anniversary and in order for me to kind of participate in that celebration I picked me up some Shim noodle soup. That's right some spicy Korean noodles. Uh, now those are very uh, very good fantastic uh, very very spicy. Now I do live in a portion of the US where we struggle a lot with allergies so if you'll notice my breathing uh, perfect breathing because these spicy noodles Yes, they will help a lot with keeping your nose clear, if you know what I mean. Now, uh, with the anniversary, we have two events. The roulette event is back, so be sure you're completing all of your daily activities to gain yourself some roulette tickets so that you can get some of those prizes from roulette. Now also, there is a card flip event. Now what this card flip event is, there are different tiers, there'll be a board, I'll try to show something on the screen, there will be a board with a bunch of cards and you earn tickets by completing your daily and weekly quests to flip these cards over and you gain whatever prize is on each of those cards. But now you can progress to the next round of the card flip event after you have turned over 10 cards, but Listen. you do not want to progress until to the next round until you have gained the special memory suit voucher in each round. You'll be able to click, uh, click a button to see what the prizes are for each round. You want to make sure you collect those memory suit vouchers because there is an exclusive Kawuka a uh, memory soup, which is basically just the corrupted Kawuka uh, raid skin. So if you've done the Kawuka raid, you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, but anyway, you want to make sure you get those memory soup vouchers. So be very, very careful, because if you skip around at the card flip event, and you have not gotten the memory suit voucher from that round, if you do that one time, you will not be able to get enough vouchers to get this Kawuka suit. Now, me personally, I believe that's a bit of a poor design because I believe a lot of people are not going, at least some people are not going to realize that if they miss one of those memory suit vouchers, they have ruined the whole event and they won't be able to get the, the new outfit. So, so you, you definitely want to be aware of that. Um, let's talk about the new unit, Su Chan Jang. Now, this man is a DPS monster. Uh, he's going to give himself an extra turn when he uses skill 4. He's going to reset his cooldowns if he makes a kill, and he has all kinds of savage damage. When he uses skill 4, he enters Hunter Unique State. That is going to upgrade his other skills. Uh, skill 1 and skill 3 are both going to have savage damage, and skill 4 is going to have strike damage with 50% additional damage if you land a critical hit. So everybody's still kind of, you know, playing around with him, seeing how they want to set him up, but pretty much you want to either go full DPS with as much speed as possible, or if you want him to go first, I suppose you could build him full speed as well. But you are going to be missing some damage that way, but at least you've got the savage damage. Uh, but anyway, there was a bug when Su Chan was first released where he could actually use his skill 4 to break out of PvP mode with Kang Suho. But me and possibly some other people reported that bug and we got that fixed in a hotfix that very same week. So that has already been fixed, so I personally believe that Kang Suho could be a decent counter for Su Chan Jang, but it is a little bit early to tell because I have not, uh, I've not been able to test that in in very many fights just yet. But if I uh, if if I learn more about that, I will let you guys know. But anyway, that is enough talk. I know that I'm I'm taking up a lot of you guys' time, so let's jump into the action. Today we're talking about Abyss Forty One. 
Uh, now, let's ask ourselves, what are we looking at with Abyss 41? Well, we're going to be going up against the boss, Min Jung Woo, and this is going to be the, um, the original style of Min Jung Woo's skills. It is not the shock glove set of skills, it is the original set of skills. So as you know, when he gets low hit point, he's going to go into violet state, he's going to give himself a turn, and he's going to try to wreak some havoc on your team. So we have to be very, very careful with boss Min Jung Woo. We're also go going up against Mito, uh, Kang Song Hyun, and Uchida. So as you can imagine, you're going to run into a bit of debuff salad at the beginning of this fight. Let's actually, let's look at the additional threats. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the additional threats here. Okay, the additional threats are, the following effects will be applied upon entering this floor. Increases attack and status effect resist for the allied defense type agents, so that's your tanks, and grants enemies with speed boost 2 for 2 turns at the beginning of battle. So as you can imagine, it might be just a little bit difficult to outspeed you know, the enemy at the beginning of the battle. So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about who we're using. Let's see, let's talk about the team that, well, if I can get my footage where it needs to be. Uh, let's talk about the team that we're using. I'm going to be using, uh, Hasty. Uh, I believe I chose the rifle EX weapon just to kind of maximize, uh, the damage that we can do as well as having those shields in place already at the very beginning of the battle. I'm bringing Yoon Bitmera because when she enters her blackout mode, she makes herself immune to status effects, immune to debuffs, and she does very, very good critical damage versus uh, the enemy team, especially versus uh, specialist class agents. So you can imagine since there are three specialists on the enemy team, She's going to be a very valuable attack unit for this stage. Now, I'm also bringing Hong Gildong. If you guys watched my co-op tutorial, you know I love using Hong, a speedy Hong, to grant myself, grant my team, that debuff immunity. So, I, I don't recall exactly what speed I had Hong at for this fight. It was probably somewhere around 470 or 480, 490. Um, before fate ties, so, you know, you want to get her as much speed as possible so that she can make your team immune to those debuffs, those, that, that, those crowd control debuffs that the enemy team is going to be trying to lay on you at the very start of this battle. Now, here is where I feel that I may deviate a little bit from what some other people do with this stage. I'm bringing Kang Suho. Now, if you'll notice, he was actually only five stars when I did this fight. It's been, you know, a few weeks ago, several weeks ago. Uh, I have since then completely maxed his skills, and I have him fully maxed. He's one of my strongest units now, so I look forward to seeing how he performs uh, going forward. But he does the job, at least does the job I wanted him for in this fight. I wanted him to be able to lock down Min Jung Woo so that he could not do damage to my other team members until I was ready to kill him because I wanted to take care of these enemy crowd control units first so that they're not um, causing my team to ha be under a crowd control status which in turn causes Min Jung Woo to do more damage. So, you know, you're in for a world of hurt if you're not very, very careful in this stage. Let's just go ahead and watch the fight. Uh, I know I'm a little long-winded today, but hey, I'm not making videos quite as often, so I like to be able to talk to you guys just a little bit and have a little bit of fun. Okay, so we're opening with Hong Gildong. Here comes the debuff immunity that is going to be key in the way I chose to do Stage 41. We're also going to lock down Min Jung Woo with the PvP mode with Tang Soo Ho. And now, as you can see, uh, Min Jung Woo is going to attack but, since Kang Suho had Hasty's shield on him at the beginning of the battle, Min Jung Woo did no damage. Now, I see, we're going to see the enemy uh, specialists try to really lay some crowd control on us, but it, it does not affect us whatsoever, except for Hong a little bit. But you see what I mean. 
Hasty and Yunbit Nara did not get affected by those debuffs whatsoever. Now I chose to use a plain attack with Hasty so that she could maintain her energy cores so she can reduce the damage she receives. We've gone blackout mode, blackout mode with Yunbit Nara. And I mean pretty much the rest of this battle, you just, you know, do stand do do what you would normally do in a battle. There's nothing fancy from here on out, but I'll just go ahead and talk us through the rest of it. Uh, you see Mito is about dead. Now Uchida lays some serious hurt on Hasty. Takes her health down to probably about 20% is what it looks like. Uh, Yun is doing more blackout on the enemy, and Tang Suho is starting to dig into Minjo Wu just a little bit and do some damage to him. Now it's important, with Hong Gildong, if you can build up some resources for her, so that she has her invulnerability shield available after Min Jung Woo comes out of PvP mode. Now I actually suspect that as strong as my Kang Suho is now, I believe he will be able to kill Min Jung Woo in the three turns of PvP mode, but that did not happen in this fight, because I had not built Kang Suho up quite enough yet. So Min Jung Woo actually kills Kang Suho, but since I built up those resources with Hong Gildong, you will notice that I am able to shield Yun Bit Nera with that invulnerability so that when Min Jong Woo comes out with this devastating AoE attack, he's able to do no damage to Yun Bit Nera. And as you see, both enemies very low health, and Yun Bit Nera finishes them off and takes MVP. So there you have it, there's Abyss 41. I'm very excited to bring this video to you guys because the next video will be Abyss 42. And I've had a lot of people requesting me to go ahead and make that Abyss 42 video. So we're going to get right to it in the next video. Um, now, you'll notice this is the old roulette event. This is not the new one. Um, so I won't make you watch this whole thing. But I did want to show you guys. It was pretty cool that I was able to get two nanos at the very beginning of using these roulette tickets. Trying to, you know, entertain you guys a little bit. Showing you... Uh, you know, some prizes. Uh, but anyway, I think that covers us for Abyss 41. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you're enjoying the anniversary event. Good luck in pulling Su Chen Jang. I've already maxed him um, and kind of, you know, got some decent gear on him. I've got one awakening so far. I, there are some people who've, you know, already completely maxed him out, but, you know, that's not how I do things. I try to be a little more patient and conserve my resources. Um, but anyway, I guess we're going to call that the end of this video. So you guys have a great time, enjoy Super String, and enjoy your day. This is Hemroid, out!